Can you see them? Like here. Okay. Good morning. It is Friday morning. Today is the last, no, it's not the last day of October. It's the last Friday of October. It is the 20, what is the date? I don't know the dates. Oh, it's the 30th of October. So I guess tomorrow is the last day of the month. And it's been an interesting month so far. It's been great for this channel. Hi Ziggy. Hi Ziggy. Um, it's been great for this channel. Not so great for the other channel because, well, I lost my footage that I had pre-shot for the month. And I was scrambling to try and get it together. It's been a struggle. Anyway, uh... I don't know my plans. Hello. My cab is here. I'm going to go pick up some cat litter. We ran out of cat litter. And also pick up just some cat food for them. And I also have to decide if I'll be in a position to film, edit, and upload a video today on my DIY channel. But my question is what, like, I don't like anything that's rushed. At least November is sorted. In terms of content, it's it's a content I'd shot for October that just <laughs> up and vanished. Oh yeah, I also have to pick up some fruits. There's so much I need to do to this. That's why I'm even like concerned about the whole being able to film, edit, and upload. Um, so there's that. I just got back um, from the supermarket. I got so I know what I said, but look. <laughs> So I got the cat litter, I got some cat food, some shower gel, like some things that have run out in the house. And now with everything happening, because our other box of masks has run out, decided to just get another one just to be safe. Uh, some fruits and veggies, some coconut water. And then I had to get this nini. I had bought, I have one like this, and then when my mom saw it, she was like, oh, you should give me you should give me that bottle and i was like okay so now i got this other one and they are 50 percent off because i had bought mine at 740 well not 50 percent but mine was let me put it here um uh, where am i i'm here the one i bought the frosted glass one i had bought it at 720 and i got this one at 425 so if you're looking go get now um, they are 425 bob. I need to put some things in the fridge ASAP. I'm doing um, a juice cleanse over the weekend, which is not a cleanse per se, but I'll just be eating. I'll not be eating solid foods for the weekend. My eating habits haven't been good. I've not been eating well. Um, I've been eating vibaya weirdly. So I just want to like for me it's a way of decompressing uh releasing so i just want to get rid of all that energy from october the randomness of october and everything so that's why i'm doing a juice cleanse and also the cool thing is because it's just for the weekend it's going to clear out my system visually i need to clean out the kitchen um because after cooking last night and i also baked so after cooking and baking because I honestly just wanted to eat something that was baked so I have to clean up after myself and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out my fruits and chop them up one thing I like doing for like when I'm doing like so something like this where I'm doing like a juice cleanse or if I'm doing like a particular meal thing for a couple of days I know that my work sometimes tends to get in my way of eating and doing stuff so what i like to do is i pre i prepare everything beforehand and i'd rather label them and just have this say monday tuesday wednesday thursday and then it's easier to just take out like for instance in this case it's easier to just take the stuff out from the fridge or the freezer put it in a in a blender container blend it pour it out drink it you get as opposed to thinking that ah now i have to start peeling and chopping and whatever let me tell you one of the things i enjoy about do doing like a couple of days of just juices is how uh okay my metabolism is really good uh my metabolic age is 19 which is awesome given that i'm 
30. That means I'm literally, my metabolic age is 11 years younger than I actually am. And even the nutritionist was like, oh, how? Because a lot of people, it's usually just about, like they aim for at least six years younger than your actual age. So being 11 years younger is like such a dope, it's a dope feeling. So anyway, what I enjoy is how like it releases, if you have anything, I don't know how to explain it because I'm not a scientist and I don't know how the body really works, but it's like it cleanses. I just feel very light. Uh, my, my bowel movements are very, <sighs> for me, mine, it's just like it's in and out, in and out. But now like when I do a juice cleanse, it's like, it's like anything clogged up or whatever. It just, it rinses my system. Let me say that. I eat like everything, my tummy just, yeah, it just, oh, like right now I'm not snatched. I look, I may look whatever, but I don't know how can you, where do you check from the side there? You see, it's a bit, it's a bit, meh. you'll see it, it will, it just goes, yeah, hey. There's no way I'm going to be able to film. Imagine like, I, I think I'm just going to be okay with October going the way October went because I can't keep dwelling on it. So what I'll do is I'll just say, you know what, <sighs> take the L and then just move. Cause for me, I'm supposed to now be, I'm supposed to cleanse and decompress and mark off all the things that were supposed to have been done in october and then put together my calendar for november and everything that i need to do for november and all that and i can't do that if i'm concentrating on a video that i've missed and i don't have you know i'm over here but I've, i got the cats a different kind of food i want to test it out with them um because with the other one the one we usually get them which is snappy tom they really love it but the problem is especially joey his poop stinks so badly afterwards and his bowel movements are very i'm talking too much about bowel movements but his bowel movements are very loose and the vet said okay just try and give him something else and see if it's going to be the same because it could be the additives or preservatives that are in that specific kind of food because we'd even and it's mostly when we give him the chicken and tuna which is their favorite so i've just gotten three different brands so today i got this proline the the liter we use is by this brand but we've never given them their food so i got two of them in two different flavors this is salmon and trout with somalu is that like just a different language okay it's a different language <laughs> so this is salmon and trout and this is chicken and then i also got the reflex one i have never used any of their products but i see them being advertised this ziggy is already over here they know when they see a can they know what cans represent like i'll show you i'm going to show you as i feed them so this is reflex uh this is tacky and dark so i'm thinking do we start with like the simplest or do we go fancy do we go salmon or do we go chicken let's go chicken yes can i show you how them can you hear that <laughs> we will try our best yes what do we want what do we want? Right. So this is chicken. Huh? What? Okay. Hmm? Hey, Ginger. My friends, you are loud. Yeah? Who do we start with? I know it's always you, Ginger. Ziggy. Put over there. Jojo, you're always the patient one. Come. Eat.
Okay, so the cats are enjoying their food, which is awesome. And also, if you do not have Vim in your house, why are you raised by a Kenyan mom? I just finished cleaning the dishes, the sinks. Um, I want to add some, I actually, I want to plant some plants. My, my, the plants that I had on top of the counter, they dried out because I was not watering them frequently. And now I want to just add that and then do that thing where you put a bottle with water upside down so that they just water themselves. I want to do some basil and mint and some thyme. I'm going to just spend the day cleaning up. So decompressing and moving things around. So I want to organize the kitchen completely. Um, one thing we noticed with this house is we can't leave food items that come in boxes or like anything that's in a box stuff like this in this cabinet is because they are getting moldy and stiff we had to throw out unga and because i've mentioned that i buy my stuff in bulk I, okay i buy my stuff in bulk i have to remember that I'm not talking to the same so this is what starts happening can can you let me see can you see like the greenish stuff and then like it ends up being like the whole bag and then it all becomes stiff and i think i don't know if it's like the 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 space is just very cold the first time it happened it happened to my couscous and i thought that there was water in there and that's what caused it but now when we're opening because the drawer that's over there the one that's open is where i store all my excess foods like we were opening after some unga had run out and it was completely stiff it was bad it was spoiled it was all moldy and green it had that green stuff so i want to reorganize and move my stuff because that's where i was placing it like just only have things that are in plastic or glass containers in those spaces and then have the boxes and stuff like that like on the shelves either this one or the bottom one on this side at the moment i want to plant let me show you so this is my box i had just put in water i'm using this fork um because the soil was a bit dry and then i have my plants here so this is how i have my plants soak in water i put them in a container and then they just pull in the water and then i go hang them so there's some that i do twice a week and some that i do once a week so i get those plants from carrefour if anyone is interested just finished cleaning and organizing um, the kitchen here the boxed stuff that was getting moldy and stuff I've decided I'll just have it there and then I added the extra jars up there we have the blenders and toasters and hand mixers and all that jazz this was kept the same but I switched out the plant for time because it had started drying out so I have some time over there. I'm going to add a bottle at the back. Here, I've just kept it the same way with the plate, but then now I have these bowls, these cute colorful bowls that I got as a gift, those bowls and some plates. So that's like a game of three. And then over here, this is our snack corner now. So we always have crisps and cookies in this jar. Then I moved my tea station, just over here, it's just like some teas. This is for making iced tea. I prepare my tea beforehand. So we have that there. These are extra jars that also have tea. Um, I have space over here. I'll decide I'm not gonna go there. And then this is going to be where the eggs are going to be. So um, I wanted to figure out if the eggs will look okay on top of the microwave. This is not going to stay here. I'm just keeping it there so that I move it. These are our morning. Um, yes, Ziggy Ziggy is looking for attention. Hey Ziggy, you want attention? <laughs> Ooh, be careful. 
Okay, no, no, let's finish first. Let me finish and then we can move on. So eggs will be here. These are the, what are those things called? Supplements that we take, not really supplements, but we take Moringa, Spirulina, and my B12. And then we have our salts. This is where I placed my kettle in this corner because there's this space over here. And then we have our oils just there, crossover, ignore all that. And then here we have our wooden spoons, our knives, and now the stand over here because this um, I've cleaned. So, yeah. Um, these ones are now to be cleaned. This had some things. Let me show you down here now how I've organized. So, that's what that looks like. Um, so I have my vinegars, some rice cakes, I have salts on this side, yes I have different types of salts. I have different types of oils as well down there, some cat food, well the cat food. And then I have this side is where I put my baking stuff so um, you can't see anything. So we have like baking trays and other baking thingies so on that side. These are the fruits that I need to clean. Uh, we open this is where I have my sofas and pans so curry diamonds and the nonstick and then because I had a problem with where to put my lids I just work out this file, file holder on the door that way just because it takes up just the front space which is never used anyway so we got that and then on this side um, I have my extra jazz <laughs> Ziggy extra jars, extra cups, because I always have extra cups, and extra containers, the containers, extra bowls, like extra everything. Um, even in there you can tell, it's like my extra stuff is sitting here, because the main stuff we use is always up here, in sets. So this is like, you know those things you buy one piece because you like it, or two pieces, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And then this place, which also used to have whatever, now has the chopping board and the lids, the Vifunicos, the Sinias. I have not touched these ones because now these ones need me to build stuff for them. The drawers, the one down here is at least sort of organized, but those are going to be tackled another day. <sighs> and I feel exhausted. <laughs> now I want to clean these jars that were on that side that need to be cleaned. Um, and then I'll clean the fruits. It's raining outside, it's crazy, it's 4 p.m. but I feel very accomplished. Um, I feel like stuff is in its place, things look good, neat, and that's what I like. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better That are going to be used here that are not here are mangoes i have frozen mangoes so we have pineapple strawberries and oh my god these strawberries are so sweet we have some blackberries over here raspberries blueberries i also have other blueberries that are frozen some grapefruit we have a bit of lemon not all of it is for this purpose and some apples i'm going to just do different combinations of the same fruits and then the only additional bit to each juice smoothie thing will be now the liquids and i usually use three options i use water coconut water or almond milk um so i have classic kawaida almond milk and i also have vanilla almond milk so where i'm using like stuff that's not very sweet i prefer using the vanilla almond milk and then where i'm using a lot of the sweet stuff i'll go with water or the coconut water but i also have cucumbers 
that will also go into the smoothie. I haven't had a meal and it's 5 10 p.m. So I'm going to make my first one, which is going to be two, and then I'm going to have one now and one before eight. I don't want to do frozen fruits because it's raining and it's cold. So that's a half a cup of raspberries. I'm going to do one cup of pineapple. So I'll just do one scoop there, another scoop. One cup of pineapple. Oh, it's so, so juicy. Um, I'll throw in an apple. And then I'll do half a grapefruit. Oof. So pretty. So, I don't know how you guys do it. I usually cut mine into, into quarters like that. And then I remove that from the... Just throw it in. How do you, that's how I do anything, like if I'm doing um, oranges or tangerines or anything else. This is how I go about it. And then I'll just add my coconut water. I'll do a cup because this is quite a lot. So I'll do one cup of coconut water. That looks good. <sighs> mm, it tastes really good. So now I'll just keep this in the fridge. And then I'll have that later. Mm. That's good. So I'll just keep doing this and then put this in the fridge. And I guess that's why I'm going to stop filming now because it's getting dark. I will see you.